Hi there lovely people, you've got Sammy here and today we're going to be completing the Granny Log Cabin Square as part of our 365 Granny Square a Day Crochet Along project. So I have just made a magic circle, just chaining three to start with. Now the centre is just a traditional Granny Square, so super easy. If you still have an aversion to the magic circle, Seriously, keep trying, guys. It's a game changer. Not so much for um, most granny squares, but for amigurumi Amiguru patterns, it's a definite must. However, you don't want to do it this time. Chain of four, slip stitch to form a loop, and then start working some double crochet. So chain of three counts as our first double crochet. I pop two more in, and chain two, and do a set of three double crochet. Come on, through the hole. There we go. Two and three. Now, as I said, it's a traditional granny, so that's our second side done for this round. So I'll do a chain of two. And I'm going to do another set of three double crochet. A chain of two and a final set. So at the end we'll have four sets of three double crochet. Each separated by a chain two. I'll meet you back here ready to do our second round for this okay. section. The first round of that section is completed. So I've got three sets of double crochet, um, four sets of three double crochet rather, each one separated by chain two space. I don't close my magic circle all the way up until I have done a couple of rows. That's just me. So in the chain two space, chain three, Turn our work so we're working into that chain two space properly. Do another two double crochet. Now, this is the corner of our work, so we're going to pop those two double crochet in the chain of three, which serves as a third, a chain of two, and another three double crochet into that corner chain space. chain of one, we're moving to the next chain two space, popping in three double crochet, chain of two, and another three double crochet into the same corner chain space. A nice simple traditional granny for our center section. After the third double crochet, I'm gonna do a chain of one down the side and then work the same stitches into the corner. So three double crochet, chain of two and another three double crochet. Um, if you haven't done a traditional granny before and you want to follow along with the video, go back around two minutes. At the end of this round, be slip stitching into the third loop of the starting chain. And I'll meet you back here to do our third and final round of this section. Uh, I'm going to be changing colours. Um, five colours, even three colours will give you the optimum effect for this square. I'll meet you back here so we can do our last Okay, round. the third round of our first section and my last round in this nice grey. So I've just done a chain of three, turning over so I can work into the chain space down the side. I'm going to pop two double crochet in. Chain of 
chain of one and we're at our corner so I'm going to pop in three double crochet chain two and another three double crochet into that corner chain space B. Chain one. We're working down the side. So just popping three double crochet into the chain one space from the previous round. Which gets us pretty much back to where I started videoing this section. I'm going to chain one and then move into the corner where I'll do three double crochet, a chain of two and three double crochet. So we're going to continue that same pattern uh, all the way back to our beginning uh, where we use the starting chain as our first double crochet. So I'm going to slip stitch into the third chain there and I'm going to finish off with this colour. I'll see you all back here soon. Our granny centre is complete and it's time to get started on the log cabin side of things have to excuse my voice I have a terrible chest infection <laughs> um, all right I've joined with the slip stitch into a corner chain space I'm just gonna do a chain of one which won't count as a stitch and I'm gonna put a single crochet <clears throat> yes yeah, sorry a single crochet into that chain space then we're going to work across the row popping a single crochet into each stitch down the side so one into each double crochet oh that tails annoying me not as much as splitting wool out of the way tail hey, there we go single crochet into each stitch so I've done one into the corner chain space and one into each double crochet we have a chain of one joining them so I'm just going to pop a single crochet into that chain one space and then one into the top of each double crochet one three one into the chain one space one two three okay now I know a corner is a chain two space but it's a corner so we're just going to pop one single crochet in there to cover this side. We'll pop one in for the other side which will even out the stitch count and make our square sit nicely. Now I'm going to chain one and turn my work and I'm going to go back popping a single crochet into each stitch. Now our chain one to turn doesn't count as a stitch.
Okay, a single crochet into each stitch all the way back to the beginning of that row. Then chain one and turn our work again. So we're going to do another three rows of single crochet to finish off this section. I'm going to finish off with the col this colour when I've done them. So all up we'll have five rows of single crochet in this section that are just the width of the square. Um, I'm going to finish off when, I, when I've done those five rows and I'll meet you back here ready to do section two. See you soon. Okay guys, I'm back. Finish section two ready to start section three now I've changed color if you want to use the same color you certainly can but you're not going to get that log cabin effect so I've just joined into where I finished off the last single crochet of the previous row I've already wound my tail in so it wasn't in my way um, so you're already in the right place if you want to continue with the same color but you're really not going to get the right you're going to get the different textures certainly going in the different directions um, when we've turned to do the the different rows um, but it is much more striking this way so I've just done a chain of one which doesn't count as a stitch I'm going to pop a single crochet into each stitch of section two pesky tail Cut off too short. I will have to fix that later. So five single crochet there. And that brings us to our first section. Now it's a corner space, so we're going to pop a single crochet in there. And then one into each stitch, as we did on the previous section. So one into each double crochet. Two, three. One into the chain one space, one into each double crochet. Hey, that's a double. Tricky. Only singles. Three. One into our chain one space. And then three more double crochet that we're working into. Just single crochet all the way along to finish off this row on round three, uh, section three rather. I'm going to pop one single crochet into the corner chain two space. I'm going to chain one and I'm going to turn my work. Now as with the last section, as with section two, we're going to do five rows. So there's our first one. Four more to do. All single crochet. Sorry, forgot how glary that white is. Um, so just a single crochet in each, each stitch. Chain one to turn, remembering that chain one doesn't count as a stitch. So we'll work a single crochet in there after we've finished as well. Working all the way back to the beginning. I'll let you guys do the next four rows. So at the end of this section you will have five rows of single crochet. I will be finishing off and changing colour at the end of this section. Again, that's entirely your decision. See you soon. Okay, you can see that log cabin effect happening now. Just joined in um, to the top of the last single crochet from that row, doing a chain one and a single crochet into the stitch because that chain one doesn't count as anything and I'm working over my tail so that it doesn't get in my way we're just once again popping a single crochet into each stitch down the side One, two, three, four, five. Never hurts to count. We know there are five rows there, so there need to be five stitches. Brings us to our corner chain space from section one. We'll pop a single crochet in there and then work a single crochet into each stitch. Oh, 
just need to pull that tail out. It's going to annoy me. A little bit of OCD with my hooking. Which sounds like it would be a good thing. Really, not always. It does make for a nice clean house most of the time. Which is pretty rare. <laughs> rare thing when you've got two sons. Okay. Just continuing with the single crochet into each stitch. All the way to the end where we finish with one single crochet in our chain two space. That is the corner of the first section we did our granny section. So we're just building those walls around granny. One into the corner chain space. You want chain one to turn single crochet into each stitch all the way back to the beginning. We're going to do that four more times so that this section as with the previous two has five rows of single crochet to make up the log on that side. I'm going to let you guys finish off that row while I um, tease out that bit of end that's sticking through the front of my work. And I'll see you back here shortly to do our fourth and final section. Okay guys, fourth section is done. I'm loving this colour scheme. Um, it's very cute. Nice, simple square, really fast to work up. The final section <sighs> bothers my OCD a little bit. So if we continue as we have been, we'd run a row all the way to the end. Of single crochet five rows deep means we've got a long row here and a short one there and for this square I'd really prefer them all to be the exact same length so I'm going to show you how to achieve that oh if I could join my yarn in turning in with a slip stitch Chain one, remembering that doesn't count as a stitch. And then we're going to single crochet all the way along. So one into each stitch means five across this section. Three, four, five. Takes us to our granny, move one into the corner space, one into each double crochet, and one into each chain space. You'll work those single crochet all the way along. Okay, so we're at the end of our granny. I'm going to pop one stitch into that corner. I'm having a tail issue. Into that corner chain space. Now, you could work the next five stitches and have that whole row completed. Um, do your next four and you finish the square. What I'm going to do, because I want this side to be the same length as the other three, colour-wise, obviously size-wise they're all going to be the same, I'm going to turn my work here. So the pattern and the chart both tell you to continue down that way. I just am a little OCD, so I'm showing you a slight modification that you can do if you want. So chain one to turn my work and I'm going to pop a single crochet into each stitch all the way back 
So I'm going to finish this section exactly as I have the others um, with five rows. So the only difference really when we finish this section is going to be if you followed all the way to the end, you're going to be finished. If you turned where I did, you're going to have a missing square here. So I'll meet you back here to show you how to fill that square in. See you soon. Okay, I'm back to show you my little difference. I don't ever vary from a pattern in this group, but having that short and long side just drives me a little bit batty. I am a weird one. I'm sure you've picked it up by now. <laughs> it doesn't really matter which side you start on. You're just going to join in with a slip stitch either here or there. It does not matter. One of the outer corners. Joining with a slip stitch, chain of one, doesn't count as a stitch, so you pop a single crochet into each stitch, so there'll be two, three, four, and five. Now we don't want this section, these sections flapping around independently. We've already got two stitches in our corner there. So I'm just going to go into the bottom stitch of this side with a slip stitch. Then I'm going to go into the second stitch of that side with a slip stitch so I can turn my work and work back through those five stitches. So the slip stitches aren't visible stitches in our work. They're just joining the two pieces together so they sit nice and flat. One, two, three, four, and five. Remembering you only need to do this bit if you really want to. So you can see we're filling that corner in. So the outer edge, chain one, slip stitch your way back to our joining side four five joining in two that's the third row with a slip stitch, slip stitching into the fourth row so we can turn and work back those five stitches. So we're not working into the slips, the stitch, we're not going to work in where we did the slip stitch because we don't need to add a stitch in there. The slip stitch is purely to join those two sides together. Three. And five, chain one, and it's our final row. So just popping a single crochet into each stitch. Oh, sorry guys. I do have a foggy head tonight. Five. And we're going to slip stitch to the final stitch in our final row. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. And we can finish off there. You can see all four sides are even. I hope you've enjoyed stitching up this simple square with me. I love it. I especially love this colour scheme. I'm a bit addicted.
can't wait to see your variations. Have a fabulous day and until next time, happy hooking. <laughs>